So in video 1353, we made this thing. It's a tea towel based wind turbine, which was fun to make, but surprisingly enough, it actually worked. Now, it was based on an idea sent to me by Ron Rattink. Uh, and it's a long way from his actual implementation. It was mostly, you know, inspired by that idea. But have a look at Ron's original idea. And although this was fun to make, I seriously doubt it will do anything particularly wonderful. But I liked that sail idea, the collapsibility, foldability of it. And what I want to do is use Ron's uh, original design and bring this closer to his original design. So we need to do a little bit of adaptation of this. So we're going to do the adaptation in this video, but in the um, video of uh, 1353 is the entire build of this. The first thing to do is basically collapse it down, disassemble it. Now it's pretty easy. So the adaptations really didn't take long. I took this central bar and made an extra one. You can see it's 60 centimetres between the centres of the two holes. So at halfway I've drilled a three millimetre hole because I'm going to put these stairs in. Now I have this metal stay, but you could equally use fibreglass stairs just like these ones that we got, in which case you drill a four millimetre hole. So each one of these bars, and there are three of them, have that hole in them and the stay will go in like that. Now we've also cut an extra couple of these, you remember these are the top arms, and then I've drilled out the two wooden discs so that we can put those arms at 120 degrees, so here, here and here. Now all I've got to do is pop this thing back together. Okay, so that's it adapted and back together. Now remember it's 60 from here to here and 30 from here to here. Um, this obviously, you know, I'm going to put sails on this and that's what we're going to make next. But if you put some plastic pipe on there, you would still get a wind turbine that you could collapse down because obviously the little pipe would form shells and you'd have a portable collapsible wind turbine, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's get on and make those so In order to make the sails from this thing, I got some old bed sheet I had lying around. This is quite a light cotton, actually. And I've drawn a triangle on it and then you cut the triangle out, leaving a hem allowance. So that's the triangle. I've already hemmed down there. Now you hem it, well you can sew it if you can sew, I can't sew, so I've got this stuff which we call Wonderweb, it's actually like a glue, so you just lay it on the cloth, fold the cloth over and iron it, and you will end up with a seam, and I do that both ways, so I cut off a bit, hot iron, and then give it an iron. And this was used an awful lot by busy mothers to hem children's clothes. And what you'll end up with is three triangles like that once you've hemmed it. Now these are 60 centimetres long and 34 centimetres from point to centre. Now this is old bed sheet I had lying around, so it's a little lightweight. I mean, you could of course buy yourself from some uh, ripstop nylon if you want, or some sail canvas. But if you're using bed sheet, then you need to paint it really with a mix of 50/50 in water, water and uh, PVA. So if we use PVA glue, which is this stuff that you get, Elmer's white glue, incidentally. And we paint that over to give it a degree of waterproofness and it'll stiffen it up so it's a bit more like a canvas. All you do is paint it on and leave it to dry. So when they've dried, you'll notice they're quite a lot stiffer, a bit more canvas-like. And all we have to do is glue and staple them onto these bars. Okay, that's it finished, and I'm sure you'll agree it's much more in line with what Ron sent through. And it is still foldable. We can collapse that up and fold it and put it into a bag. But let's get it out in the wind and see what happens to it. In 
there it is collapsed down. It's kind of a neat little package, so it would certainly be portable. Now, it did okay, but when you look at it, I mean, you well, I'm strongly reminded of a H-type Darius. Uh, and if you think about that, then the actual airfoil blades wouldn't take up much more room or weight than these. So I'm thinking about an NACA 0015 airfoil put onto those stays instead of the sails. Uh, I'm not sure how that would actually perform, of course, but I like that idea as the next step on. So we started this with a very simple T Talsavonius. Then we went to Ron's actual design, which seemed to work better. And now what I'm thinking is the H-style Darius. Now, I still haven't put a generator section on this, of course not, because we're progressing that on the airfoil section. And the whole idea of this is that it should be collapsible. We should be able to fold it up into a small package that we can take with us. It shouldn't weigh too much and it should generate a bit of power. But I did like that sail idea, so thank you very much for sharing that with us, Ron. And I hope it meets your approval with what I built. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.